Hi everyone, Josie here, Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here on my channel. Today I'm going to be decorating my dress form in spring garb. As you can see, this is still in winter garb. Even though it's still technically winter, I know that a lot of you cannot wait for spring. And here's the picture of the finished project. Now, if you recall, I made a couple of this back in December. To those of you who are following my channel closely, I created one in glam style. And I'll be inserting the video in the upper right-hand corner of that one. That was the very first one that I did, the glam style for the holidays. And also this one, a traditional or a farmhouse style. And I'll be also linking the video for this one and how I created this. I want to apologize also that my voice is too raspy right now because I'm kind of battling a cold and I just want to get this done because I know that everyone is gearing up for spring like I said. Now anyway I'm going to be showing you or inserting a clip of how I assembled the base for this one using two black wired waste baskets from the Dollar Tree and for the stand, I used two stainless steel paper towel holders. To create the base of my dress form, I am going to be connecting two wire waste baskets that I got at the Dollar Tree. I am putting one upside down and one on the top that I'll use as the bust I will be putting on top of it so that they'll meet at the center. I'm just using the sharp pair of scissors that I got at the Dollar Tree. I didn't need a wire cutter. But if you have a wire cutter or anything like the sharp scissors that I have, go for it. And it's just easy because it's not really tough material. Next, I am placing the basket that I just trimmed on top. And this is going to be my torso. And I'm going to be using one zip tie to tie the front and then one to tie the back. Next I'm going to be forming the upper part or the upper body which is the torso. I will be folding down or pressing down these two sides here in order for me to form the cut arm of my dress form. I am just trying to mold it so that it will look like or imitate the look of a torso. So I'm forming the shoulder as well as the neck. I'm going to be connecting what I would call the shoulder blade and then I'm going to be putting a neck. So I'm going to cut at least 6 inches to 7 inches long of this remaining wires that I have and I'm going to fold it so that I can create the neck. Before I work on the skirt or the lower portion of this mannequin slash dress form, I am going to be forming or shaping the torso inward so that it'll look like it has a more emphasized waistline. In other words, I'm making it curvier, making it a little bit sexier. Just using my palm to create the form. So, as you've seen on the photo that I have inserted earlier, the decoration on this one will be a little bit more on the brighter or lighter side because it's for springtime as opposed to the ones that I removed. It's heavier and thicker because it's for winter. So, I'm going to be using pink peonies that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be creating a belt that will go around the seams or the waist of this dress form and this will help 
camouflage the connection or the seams that was created when I connected the two waste baskets. So this will make it a little bit cleaner. I want that there will be two strands or both ends to kind of dangle, but I don't want it to be at the center. I want it to be offside. So I'm going to do it on the right side or if you're facing the dress form on the left side of the dress form so that I can connect it there because I just want to keep the center or the front free and then I will put some of the peonies on the side. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and tie the two ends together, do a double knot here because I'm going to be covering this anyway with peonies. So I'm going to just use one big one and then two smaller ones, uh, one on each side of the bigger uh, flower. I went ahead and lifted the dress form and I used the same stand that I created previously using two paper towel holders and I'm just going to be putting flowers around the hem or the bottom part of this skirt. Halfway through putting the flowers, I noticed that I was not really digging or liking the metal or stainless steel stand made of the two paper towel holders connected together. And that's the reason why I also omitted that original footage where I connected those two because I decided to change the stand so that it will be better. I have this black foam core or poster board that I got at I think Dollar Tree also years ago and I have it on hand and I'm just tracing the bottom part or the mouth of the waste basket so I've already made the mistake for you guys so you don't need to do the step the way I did it what you can do is at the beginning before you attach the flowers obviously you go ahead and trace your round base to overcome the challenge I have because I didn't want to remove the flowers I just turned it around and created the shape of the circle after I was able to complete the circle or the shape I am now cutting it with my sharp scissors it's gonna be a little kind of rough on the edges here but don't worry about it because it's not gonna show it's gonna be covered by the flowers so the moment of truth, let me see if it fits, and voila, it does. Using my wooden rolling pin that I got at Dollar Tree, I'm just using my hot glue in the interest of time, but I would suggest mix it with E6000 or any strong bond glue so that it's going to have a better hold and right now I'm just using my hot glue because I don't know if I need to disassemble this again if in case it doesn't really work so I don't want to commit right away but for you guys please add a stronger bond glue next I'm gonna be using this glass candle holder that they also sell at Dollar Tree for the bottom part of my stand which is the very base of my stand so this way there will be weight to carry the load because even if you try another circle from the foam board it's not going to hold up it's going to wobble so for stability you need something like this if you don't have this you can use a plate you know something heavier and I'm using hot glue reinforcing it with some more hot glue on the sides here but again for you guys go ahead and use a stronger bond glue like E6000 Gorilla Glue or Fix All that they sell at Dollar Tree 
Next, I'm going to be painting the wood and this glass with my acrylic paint. And if you want to use any other paint, maybe spray painting it, that'll be fine. But I find that acrylic paint is already good for me. So I just use acrylic paint. I just painted the wood and the glass. This is how it looks like my new and improved stand. I'm just going to be applying hot glue here so that I'm going to be able to connect my dress form and finish it up. So I'm just using some of my leftover black ribbon and I'm just going to cut a small piece and I'm going to tie it up onto the neck portion so that it will look more finished. It's going to look like a black tie, a more feminine black tie that is. I'm just attaching the black tie here and I'll show it to you. I just put a small piece at the center to make it more finished. I like that this is in a lighter style. It's not too busy. It's a little bit on the minimalist side. You can use this whether you have a glam style home. I think this will work also for farmhouse style home or shabby chic. If you have a makeup room or a beauty room, this will work well as well. Or if you have a girl's bedroom that you're trying to decorate. Again, for parties like baby shower, even bridal shower, this will work out as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video everyone and you will also share it to anyone who may be looking into some kind of style that they can use to decorate their home or their parties. And if you are going to be remaking this, don't forget to snap a photo and tag me either on Instagram or Facebook. My account information are in my about page of my YouTube channel. Or if you want to, you can send me also an email of the photo. And if you are going to be showing a video of the finished project, don't forget to link back also and give me a shout out. I'd really appreciate it. Hope you all are having a great day and I'll talk to you again on my next video. Take care, everyone. God bless. Bye-bye.